What made you want to get into becoming an athletic director? We'll go back to the beginning here. How did it all start for you? Well, I sort of backed my way into it, even working in schools, but I love sport. I was an athlete, uh, certainly in high school and college, and this is a great way to stay connected to sport. And I coached for a long time, so about 20 years, and then came to a, a point where I was looking for something different, and our current athletic director at the time was looking to, to step out, so we literally switched jobs. There's a lot of aspects of it that I truly like. It's yeah. certainly uh, the organization and the policy and always trying to you know, improve the program uh, and then providing opportunities for kids and that's really what yeah. it's about. So it's nice to impact uh, the whole student body that way. What has been, this might be a tough question, but what has been some of your favorite memories as an athletic director? Uh, well, we're a six through 12 school and oh, so wow. I just dearly love seeing students enter in sixth grade and then develop and they really become you know adults practically so by 12th grade so just really the development of kids and seeing them flourish and at a small school they're afforded a lot more opportunities than they might elsewhere so we really get to see them in a lot of different arenas within the building um, and it's just really gratifying as well. You also have a nonprofit. I do. The Academy yeah. for Sports Leadership for 20 years. I mean, yep. tell yeah. us all from the beginning. Yeah, it started in 2001, and um, it was a group of like minded women, professional yeah. colleagues, who we saw this challenge where uh, Title IX then had been um, around for about 30 years, yeah. and yet we were seeing this gr exponential increase in participation for girls and women, but at the same time, this just amazing decrease in the number of female coaches. And so the Academy for Sport Leadership literally uh, is a grassroots organization aimed at trying to give young girls and women training so that they feel like they could be successful coaches. So we're really trying to just recruit and retain female coaches in the state of Michigan. And the one thing that I've learned, and my colleagues early on pushed this, and I didn't really appreciate the value of it, and certainly we see it now, right. but having role models is really important. If you can see it, you can be it, and I think it's really important, uh, more than I ever realized for young girls and women, to uh, see somebody in roles that they could they could have and now you're seeing all kinds of opportunities for women uh, which is great yeah. and uh, those didn't exist before and there's still a lot of work to be done. Do you remember a time you were inspired by an athlete, a colleague or somebody that made you want to stick with sports? Oh absolutely I mean I um, it's interesting I had all female coaches growing up oh, so wow. as I came through high yeah. school and, and college uh, all of my head coaches were female. That's so rare. that was the model, and back then, which was right at the beginning of Title IX in the early 70s, uh, that was really common, and that was yeah. one of the things that we saw that the number of females really dropped off in um, in a, just a remarkable way. So um, I certainly was inspired by um, my coaches, both at the high school and the and the college level. And you wear many hats. You are also a part of the Governor's Task Force for Women in Sports. I'm an advisory member on this group. It's chaired by our Secretary of State, Jocelyn Benson, and uh, the, the idea is to just uh, promote women in sport in Michigan, in the state of Michigan. Yeah. And one of the primary goals is to create a, a pipeline, a pathway for uh, leadership and just sport opportunities uh, for women and, and girls. So whether that be at the college level, leadership, coaching, administration, uh, but also sports journalism, as well as, you know, wouldn't it be great if we had a professional women's team in Michigan? That would be awesome. Yeah, so that's, you know, <laughs> something that we certainly have talked about. How proud are you of everything that you've helped form and all the people that you've met along the way? What does all of that mean to you? You know, you don't always realize the impact you have at the, at the time, and I coached for a lot of years, um, and you know, I, I was a pretty tough coach. I was demanding, I think, as a coach, and yet um, I saw every single athlete that I worked with improve, so that was um, affirming in, in right. so many ways for me, uh, hopefully for them as well. Really proud of our Green Hills program and uh, how inclusive it is 
and uh, also really I'm proud of our state, the state of Michigan. I think uh, we have a lot of high schools in Michigan, and I think uh, the MHSA is doing things well. I think we, we do things the right way. It really is educational athletics, and, and we're really trying to stay true to that.